always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall, the best to ever do it. And across the ring from him, Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. He is the great... Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. This is going to be an intense stare off before the fight starts. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing. The only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the... And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a... And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. There you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. Welcome to the W. And yet, The Rock. Rocky Marcia. The fighters are in the. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is what you'll be talking about for years to come. This is what your kids, your grandkids will be talking about. Can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. The courage on display here is incredible. Just defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> uh, 
He knows that right hand's coming and still can't do anything about it. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarm and you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Misses with that jab. He fails to score with that left hook. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Bam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Missing with that right hand. That counter shot lands. He just missed with that left jab. Punching for both these athletes. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The exchange punches. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make you fight your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this. They are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Why aren't they defending? Big 
shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to... Rocky Marciano in trouble, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. <laughs> with the right counter. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. Can make up Here we go to the fourth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff them. Blocks that jab. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. And just misses with that jab. That left counter was perfectly timed. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you've hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Got out of the way that right hook. Neither man really defending themselves. Just when you think they're gonna have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice counter. <laughs> that bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell, sometimes it could be the sweetest sound. On to the fifth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. He threw the hook, didn't land. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. And nice exchanges from both men in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Mo One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. On to the sixth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a nuts here away from getting stopped. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. That was the moment. Good left counter that lands. Good counter punch. Good job getting out of the way of that left. Nice counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. from both men in this round. He just missed with that big right hand. Punch counter punch. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Here comes round seven. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating, it just depends on how... They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. <laughs> Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He missed with that jab. Left counter score. Neither man really defending themselves. Are we witnessing one of the all time greats go down? Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.
Welcome to the WBC Arena. Excited to be here for this one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. What? Here comes the Eastern Assassin, Larry. And now it's time for the... This battle is scheduled. Not too many seats to be. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Hey, when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. the charts action from both of these fighters. They score again with the left hand. And he caught him there with the left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the ropes. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Get him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. You find a swarm, and you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbow, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push him off balance because they will just stay in your face. Counter left. Good counter punch. Oh, what a punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this. Here we go for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. 
positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll... The greatest! Muhammad Ali is down! Do you believe it? They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Nice exchange here from both men. Then step back for just a moment. No final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. Can make or break a fighter. There's the bell for round three. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle on that. He's got a, he's got a block. <laughs> nice shot with the left. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You gotta ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. <laughs> Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You've got skill. You've got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Neither man really defending themselves. For Muhammad Ali. Disaster avert. Nothing else he could do there but take a knee to stop the beating. That's a really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That bell was sweet music to his gun. Here's the bell for round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for head shots. Beautiful counter punch. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. But you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick because you've got to get some before you get him close. 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there might be more action here. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. <laughs> through the hook. Oh, Larry Holmes on the back foot. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. Time for the fifth round. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. <laughs> Right. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. No power in those punches. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pond areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Here we go in the sixth round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. what we are seeing. And he fails to score with that left hook. Fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to actually out box the fight and beat them on points. Big shot from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He's going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. But come on, that leaves more opportunity for headshots. Nice counter shot. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this?
It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That is, Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. Every man and woman that cometh into this continent, into this world of America today.